Okay guys, so in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create a pencil icon set. Um, this is my first tutorial so I wanted to start with something fairly simple uh, but uh, still useful for especially beginner beginners who are not so familiar with all the features uh, of Inkscape. So first I'm gonna create mm, the basic image, the basic icon and then I will show you how to create uh, a lot of different color com uh, color variations for the same icon very quickly with the tile clones tool and then I will talk about a bit of uh, how to export them very quickly with batch exporting which basically allows you to export more than one image at once and even remembers uh, the destination and stuff like that okay we will get into that later so first create this icon quickly I create a rectangle and I want to make it fairly thick because uh, in the end you know it's gonna be an icon and we have to fit in a square uh, if we can so uh, make, uh, leaving it fairly thick can help us later because you know if I make it very long even if I rotate it uh, it will look odd or very small uh, as an icon. So first hit Ctrl C to convert this object into a path. So now we can manipulate the nodes. Select this bottom two and add one in the middle. And pull this down like so and convert it into a curve by hitting this make selected nodes auto smooth or rather sorry make selected nodes symmetric. As you can see I, I'm using Inkscape uh, point forty six uh, and this is the development version so basically this is gonna be something like the next version but you can follow along with any other version you want we won't use any new features in this tutorial and you know just holding down the control key you can adjust this curve here something like that I hit control D to duplicate it pull it over and I'm gonna bring in the fill and stroke menu you can just simply hit ctrl shift F to pull it up and I'm gonna make it a bit lighter here in the middle and you want this a bit darker this left side okay now I'm gonna double click it select these three nodes on the left and pull them in like so little glitch there okay <coughs> now duplicate this as well and I like to send it to the back so the middle part is on the top of the others so now flip it uh, this right part send it to the back also and try to make it kinda symmetric and we will make it a bit lighter so it will look like there's a light just on the right you know Okay, once we've done that, we can add another rectangle. And I'm just gonna change the color so you can see better to a ugly blue here. And you wa don't want to make it wider than these three objects here. Better make it a bit, uh, you know, smaller, something like that. And then convert it into a pet as well. Hit Ctrl D to duplicate it and pull one duplicate up here, we'll need that later. And this one is... Uh, we will work with this one. So select these bottom two nodes, hit delete to delete them and select the remaining two and add one in the middle. Actually it added two but we're just gonna need one and pull it down holding down the control key so you can stay in the same line and obviously this is gonna be the tip of the pencil I just send it to the back and pull the whole thing down like so now I'm just gonna select another color which kinda looks like wood a nice lighter orange will do the trick Okay, something like that, and maybe even apply a 
gradient here, a linear gradient. Again, if you hold down the control key, you can stay in the same line. And this part is the lighter one, obviously, like so. Okay, for the tip of the pencil, I'm gonna duplicate it and again hold down the control key by resizing it downwards, like so. And just change it to another color. Basically, the same color as the center of your pencil. You can use this uh, color picker here to do that. Now, uh, to make it look even better, I'm gonna pull this thing down. Again, the control key always helps you to stay in the same line, regardless of um, basically what tool you are using. It serves the same purpose. Now I'm adjusted the curve so it looks kind of nice. Uh, now we'll get a bit tricky. First, pull down a ruler from the ruler. Pull down a guide here, around here, and double-click this object. And with the control key, now it's important to hold down the control key because it will snap to the guide if you hold it down like so. This is just to get all this, the two sides to the same level, like so. Just pull, the, pull up the uh, two nodes on the left and the right, and then you can get rid of this guide. Now, now we'll need this rectangle here, just pull it down, send it to the back, and I'm gonna use the alignment menu to... Oops, to align the top of these objects, so just click this icon here and it will align perfectly. Now there's some glitches in here which you can fix and make sure you fix that because it can cause some problems later. So make sure the blue part doesn't... you can see the blue part through here. That's what I wanted to say. Okay, and now all we have to do is duplicate these three objects and hit Ctrl plus. This is the same effect you can achieve by going to Path and Union. So this is now one object on the top of the three others. Now select this one and select this blue rectangle uh, we created earlier and hit Ctrl minus. This is the path difference uh, boolean operation and if everything goes right you can have a nice shape here which perfectly fits that hole. Now hit Ctrl D to duplicate it, pull it up, flip it, or rather flop, I don't know, and then align the, these two again. I'm just trying to get it done. Okay. And once you have that you can, you know, Save both of them, hit Ctrl plus, so you made it a one object. And then uh, I'm gonna just color pick the same gradient from down here. So first apply a gradient and then use the color picker from the right and I pick one from the left. Okay, and one final touch to this icon is to add a <coughs> an ellipse and make it the same color as the middle of the pencil and then just align those oops just pull it down and you can align this as well like so and maybe a bit more narrow and a bit wider. Now, okay, that looks fine. 